Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download and install Jupyter Notebook for Windows 10 or 11 for Python. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, how do we actually install Jupyter Notebook? Well, installing Jupyter Notebook, we first have to install Python. So in this case, let's go ahead and open up any browser that we have right now. In this case, let's go ahead and just type in Python download. And from here, just press enter. Now you should be able to see Python org here. Let's go ahead and click on download Python. And from here, you should be able to see the latest version or the latest version for Python in Windows, which is 3.12.3 for uh, it currently when this video was created. Now in this case, let's go ahead and click on download Python. Now in this case, it should download the file itself. So once the download is complete, go ahead and run this file, click on run. And it, if it actually asks for further permissions, make sure to allow that. So let's go ahead and choose install now. And from here, it's going to finish the installation. And once the setup is complete, we are now ready to proceed with the next steps. Now, as you can see, once the installation is complete, it's going to say setup was successful. So let's go ahead and click on close. Now, what we need to do next is we now need to proceed on installing Jupyter Notebook itself. So in this case, go to your search bar here at the bottom left. And from here, what we need to do is we need to type in CMD so that you'll be able to see command prompt here, right click on it and make sure that you run this as administrator and just click on yes, whether it actually asks you for further permissions. Now in this case, the first thing we need to do here is we need to verify our Python version. Just type in Python space uh, dash dash version. And from here, just go ahead and press enter and you should be able to see the uh, version of that Python. Now, in some cases, like what what is happening right now on my computer, it would read or basically give you an error. In this case, because it's going to say Python was not found. In this case, we need to modify a few things here. So in this case, go to the bottom left here. Just type in Python so that we'll be able to see the app itself. So let's go ahead and right click on it. And you want to click on open file location. Now, it should open up a folder here that's in this case going to say Python 3.12. So let's go ahead and right click on it again and we want to click on open file location again. Now, in this case, once the location is open, what you need to do is you need to copy the path for this location. So let's go ahead and copy this one. And from here, let's go ahead and paste this in one of our notepads. Now, in this case, you also need to go to your scripts folder here and you also want to copy the location itself. Now, in this case, once you've copied the location, what we need to do next is we need to add this into our environment variables. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and close this one. And from here, just type in environment and you should be able to see the system environment variable. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to click on environment variables here. And from here, let's go to user variables for the following user. Go to path here and from here, you want to click on edit. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to click on the new button at the top right here and we want to paste the location that we just copied. So let's go ahead and copy those locations and from here, let's just paste this one and let's go ahead and copy the other one as well. Click on new and add it as well. Now once it's added, let's go ahead and click on OK and click on OK and from here, let's go ahead and click on OK again. Now in this case, let's go ahead and try it again. Now, if you're still having issues like what we've seen on my previous screen, screen, we still have to do a few things in here because of the updates that Windows actually made on your uh, Windows. In this case, uh, at the bottom left here, just type in the following, which is going to be app execution, and you should be able to see the manage app execution aliases. In this case, look for app installer and app installer here that says Python XA or Python 3.xa. Now in this case, by default, it's going to be enabled, so make sure to turn this off. But once you turn this off, you want to go to your command prompt again. So let's go ahead and open up command prompt here, run this as administrator, click on yes. And from here, whenever we type in Python dash dash version, it should now work and you should now be able to see the Python version. Now from here on, we are now ready to install our, our version for Python or Jupyter Notebook. So in this case, what you need to do is you first need to type in which, which, the following, which is going to be pip space dash dash version. And from here, just press on enter. In this case, it's going to say pip 24.0. So that's good. So in this case, what you need to do is you need to type in the following next is going to be pip install. And from here, just type in Jupyter. And instead of y, uh, I, make sure that's actually Y. And once you've done that, let's go ahead and press on enter. And it's going to start the installation for Jupyter. 
In this case, what we need to do is we just need to wait for the installation to complete. So let's just wait for it. Now, as you can see, it is now done. So once you actually see Windows System 32 again, in this case, let's go ahead and check our Jupyter version. So just type in Jupyter space dash dash version and from here just press and enter and you should be able you should be able to see the related packages for jupyter here and their versions now in this case you've just successfully installed jupyter notebook so in order for you to start using it you could just go ahead and go to your documents here and create a folder here for python so just type in python here and from here, you could also create a new folder here. Let's name uh, Jupyter Notebook or JN. And from here, go ahead and open up the allocation and go to the URL tab here and just type in CMD and press on enter. Now it should open up CMD here. And in this uh, CMD window, just type in Jupyter Notebook and it should open up a browser, which in this case, you should be able to access Jupyter Notebook. In this case, it should open up real quickly here. So just wait for it. And as you can see, it is now running. So in this case, you could just create a new one. So maybe Python 3, Terminal, Console, or new file here. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.